All right, guys, so we're back, and now we are going to be tackling resolution uh, when it comes to the iPhone. Uh, so I think that, you know, these are some very cool features that you can have, but you want to make sure that you understand the limitations of your, uh, you know, quality when it comes to 4K and your frames also and your bit rate and things like that. So I want to kind of go over those. So if we go into our settings menu, we're gonna go into resolution. Now, resolution, like I said, uh, we went over the layout of what's on here, and you can go back into the first video if this is your first video watching, kind of walk you through it, right? But you have 4K, 3K, 2K, 1080, and then 720. And then you have your file size uh, that we discussed. I use Filmic Extreme, which gives me the most amount of data so it's gonna allow me to work a lot more with information when it comes to post. So we're gonna go into 4K right here. Now 4K, uh, like I said, 10-bit is going to be the best option in my opinion uh, when it comes to recording, but on the app, there are gonna be limitations of what you can do. So if I go into resolution, you can see that the most amount at 10-bit is going to be 30 frames per second. Lowest is 24, I have 25 and then 30. But if I go into resolution and I drop it to 8-bit and I go back to my, resolu uh, my frames, now you see I get all the way up to 60, right? So the most amount, 10-bit uh, up to 4, 10-bit um, 4K is gonna be 30 and then 4K, 8-bit is going to take you up to 60. So the same is going to apply if we do 3K. So if we do 3K 10-bit, you're gonna come here into the frames, you're gonna see that the most amount that I can do is 30, but if I come over here to the resolution and uh, put 8-bit, you're gonna see that I will have 60 once again. So it's something that you want to keep in mind as you're filming. Uh, in, in any of these. So as you can see, we're not gonna get any of the slow-mo stuff uh, here uh, with the higher bit rate. We're going to have to essentially go down even more. So the most amount at 3K, like I said, is gonna be uh, 30 frames for 10 bits. Uh, it's going to be 60 frames at 8 bits. And then once we get into the next one, 2K, which is gonna be the same exact. So 2K, 3K, and 4K are all gonna be the same frame rates and bit rates amount, right? Once you get into the 1080, that's where you're going to be able to do uh, all the slow motion stuff. So if we're at 10 bit here at 10, if I go to resolution, it's going to give me up to 60 again. And then if I go into 10 bit, now I can go all the way up to 240 frames. So once again, if you're trying to catch that ultra slow stuff, you'll, you'll probably record it at uh, 240 or 120. So that's something that you wanna keep in mind also. So let's say I'm filming at 120, right? I can actually capture it at 120 as you can see here, but I can play it back at whatever frame rate I want. So if I'm using a timeline that's going to be like, let's say 24, which is what you know normally is if, if you're filming something, I can go ahead and I can do that. I, it's gonna take me a while to write there. But essentially I'll capture it and when I play it back, I can actually play it back at 24 frames so I can see that slow motion uh, that I've recorded and I'm not looking at it in real time that I recorded at, uh, you know, at 120. So that is super, super convenient. I really, really like being able to have that feature when it comes to having app. Like I said, this app is phenomenal. It really is for the features that you can get with, with, within your phone, you know, there's a lot of cameras out there that don't even give you as much as far as 240 or even 120 
Uh, so it, it's really cool to see that out there. Obviously, there are cameras that do it out there. I have a Sony a7 III. You know, obviously, I can record at 120. But once again, I don't get 10-bit. You know, I get 8-bit. So that's something, you know, just to kind of keep in mind. And as you can see here, when I'm doing the slow motion, I'm going to have to readjust uh, those colors, right? So, you know, I want to go ahead and uh, add right 240 I'll have to bring those colors back I'll bring my and then you know I'll have my colors back there's some noise in here but that's where I'll start coming in and I'll start dialing in those features uh, as a matter of fact as you can see here in the app anything above 60 everything gets turned off so you're getting whatever the source is so once again, that's going to be where lighting is going to come into factor and all those kind of stuff. So definitely important things for you to kind of think about. As you can see, as I increase, I'm going to bring more noise into it. So I want to make sure that I try to capture it as low as possible in the ISO. And then I'm bringing in as much light as possible, right? So maybe I'm bringing in here. I'm bringing in some extra light. That way I'm not going to have to battle that noise uh, in post. So just something to keep in mind, you know, that's going to, I think, wrap up this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for once again. If you guys have questions, comments, um, or, or even suggestions, maybe I'm missing something on the app or maybe you use the app in a different way, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I, I would love to be able to have those interactions and kind of see how you're using Filmic Pro or if you're new to, uh, to filmmaking, you know, what are some of the things that you want to know? What are some of the struggles that you battle with? And, uh, you know, but, but that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you once again for watching this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.